Hello, in this video we are going to digitize points. We will digitize some peaks on this topographical map. In the main menu go to Layer, Create Layer, New Geo Package Layer. Then I select a new database file. And let's uh, call this Mount Marcy. So this is our database and inside database there's the table name Peaks with a geometry type of uh, point. And I can change here the projection to the one of the project, so it corresponds with uh, the topographical map in the background. Now I can define the attributes. The first attribute is elevation, and I choose here whole number or integer, but you can also choose uh, decimal, depending if you want to have uh, decimals. I add a second attribute with the name of the peak, and that will be text data. Don't forget to click Add to Fields list to add it to that uh, list and click OK. Now we have a new empty point layer. Let's find a peak. There is Mount Marcy. And because the resolution is a bit hard to read, but we see there the name and the value and we can toggle on the editing by clicking the pencil. And we see that in the layers panel, there's also a little pencil next to the layer name. Then we can add a point. And in the pop-up we can then fill in the attributes. The FID is a standard attribute from the geo package which you don't need to change. We can fill in the elevation and the name by reading it from the map. Click OK and then we can go to the next point. If you don't see your digitized point, check if your point layer is on top of the topographical map in the layers panel. There's Little Marcy. Let's click again there with the crosshair it auto generates a new FID, which is a simple follow up number, and we type the elevation that we read from the map and we add the name Little Marcy. Click OK. Let's also do the Great Peak, type the elevation and the name. Click OK. Now you can toggle off the editing and save. If you do discard, it will not be saved and you can start over again. This is basically an undo option. After saving, you can check the attribute table and you will find there all the attributes that we have entered. Let's demonstrate some corrections. If you just add a point and you want to fill in some uh, attributes there, And there's some uh, options to uh, change the location of the point. So I go there to the vector ed vertex editor and I can click on the point and move it. I can also use the undo and the redo button. If you select a point, you can also uh, delete the specific point. You can use the save button to save your last edits. You can toggle off and if you say discard then it's back to the previous state when you saved. So in this video you've learned how to digitize points.